What's going on guys? It's Pokepond, back with another video for you. Lots to talk about today. We got price moves all across Sword and Shield, Ultra Modern. It's going crazy the market right now. Bargains to be had. Let's get into it. If you're new to the channel, subscribe down below to never miss an opportunity. Let's go. Okay, so today we've got a lot to talk about, so we're just going to get straight into it. Let's have a quick look at the Pokemon Center in both the UK and the US just to see what products are in stock. It's been like two weeks since we've had a little look, so we're just going to see if there's any changes here. We're mainly just looking at the high-end stuff for booster packs, so the booster boxes. You can do this by going into your region, selecting booster packs, and then just selecting high to low, and that's going to show you all the booster boxes for sale. This is the UK Pokemon Center at the moment. You can see the new set is here, Surging Sparks, um, which is not released yet. And then we've got Stellar Crown, which is the mainline set that's just been released. Absolutely mad that Fusion Strike is still available for retail price, £143 here in the UK. This is by far the best deal anywhere on any booster box in the UK uh, from an investment standpoint, if you're asking me absolutely mad that some of these are still available if you're new to investing it's a great box to get into it's a low price point to get into on a good set that's a decent amount of years old now it's got good chase cards i really don't think any more of it's going to get reprinted and i also think that once it sells out it's really going to jump up a decent amount of money but as we say you know here on the channel you always need to be prepared to sit on boxes for two three even five years to see some serious gains on stuff. I don't recommend you go into this hobby of investing and buying sealed products with the mindset of I'm going to buy it and sell it in six months time. Yeah, you sometimes get those opportunities, but really you need to be ready to hold it for the long term. You know, make sure you've got some nice storage containers. Um, you're monitoring the moisture. You've got somewhere dark that you can put it, etc. Um, there's plenty of videos online to show you how to do it. But it's really simple. Just buy those big plastic containers, buy a couple of those silica gel packs that you get in like shoe boxes and stuff like that when you buy a new pair of shoes. You can buy them real cheap on eBay. Chuck a load of them in there. Um, keep metal out of there, all sorts. But let's let's get back into it. So, um, brilliant stars is available again. Pretty good buy from the Sword and Shield era. The only other Sword and Shield boxes we've got here is Astral Radiance. People really sleep on this set. I think Astral Radiance will do really well if we're looking at the long horizon of a couple of years' time. Um, Battle Styles wouldn't touch it with a barge pole, for, personally. It's not a great set. It's always been low demand. The price is never really appreciated. And there's just so much of it around. Distributors still can't even get rid of it now. Um, yeah wouldn't touch battle styles even if you paid me to personally and that's that's not just me insulting the set it's also supply and demand do you know what i mean that sentiment is felt across the pokemon collecting hobby as a whole and that's really going to make it difficult for you to sell it for any kind of profit in the future would not recommend uh definitely if you're looking at buying in the uk i would look at buying um, fusion strike or astral radiance Perhaps brilliant styles, but I think Fusion and Astral are better buys, personally. And um, obviously you've got Ultra Modern here as well. I wouldn't buy Ultra Modern from the Pokemon Center at the moment, just because you can usually pick it up cheaper elsewhere from other retailers. Let's have a quick look at the US. And the US uh, stock is slightly different story. Obviously you've got all the Ultra Modern at the top here. Um, you have Silver Tempest available. Um, Silver Tempest is... Probably the last Sword and Shield set that you can get in the US right now for retail, which is actually probably worth buying, I would say. Obviously, you've got the big Chase Lugia card, and I don't think it's really ever seen that huge spike or increase in value just because it's never gone out of stock from retail. As soon as we start seeing a little bit of scarcity in the market, I expect Silver Tempest and the Lugia to start shooting up in price, just like Fusion Strike did when it went out of stock, Lost Origin did, um, and Astral Radiance to a certain extent as well. I wouldn't touch Vivid Voltage as well. It's a better set than Battle Styles, but it's just really never had that appreciation. Even when it went out of stock and you couldn't really get it anywhere, Vivid Voltage still just sat for around about retail. Maybe it would swing up and down in price around about 10% max. I'm talking 15 dollars $16 either way. Um, in time, it might do well. People might have appreciation for the big fat Pikachu, but I just 
don't see it happening not compared to these other sets when you can pick up silver tempest i would say that silver tempest is going to perform so much better over the long haul than vivid voyage in fact i would probably even rather buy some twilight masquerade for like 160 you could get it cheaper than this elsewhere but i'm making an example 160 for twilight masquerade and have the chance of getting the greninja chase than to buy an out of print vivid voltage for that pikachu because that pikachu really isn't going for that much money either right let's get into the big boy set then i want to cover sort of like the main line um the big boys from sword and shield because i haven't done it for a couple of weeks but i'm also gonna like dot around a little bit this week and i'm gonna look at a couple of like upc products and a couple of ultra modern as well i'm just gonna zip around be a bit erratic and uh yeah let's just get into it so evolving skies pretty stable on price actually tcg charts are all over the place i wish they'd sort out their website look at this this is nonsense where you put your mouse over the graph and it covers up where you are in the graph like stupid design whoever came up with that anyway the price looks pretty stable from where it was last week if we have a look at the actual sales data you're seeing it's about 692 699 700 um lots at 700 685 so there is a little bit of a swing in it you're seeing about a two percent swing either way just depending on demand so you can pick yourself up a little bit of a bargain but price is basically stable in the us compared to what it was last week cheapest in the uk right now is 700 all in that is a little bit of an increase from last week last week we saw a box up for 675 all in i believe maybe it was 680 i think it was 675 though so a 25 pound increase there and i think this is just going to be the new norm guys i think 700 is just going to be the flat line base baseline price i made a huge deep dive video on evolving skies last week so make sure you check that out if you're interested at all in buying evolving skies i also made some recommendations of how you can get into um owning some evolving skies and still join the money train if you don't have 700 pounds or 700 dollars to spare um there are cheaper ways to get into this set and i do think that you will still do well out of it uh last sale like i said there's a bit of a swing going on at the moment so 700 best offer accepted we saw the cheapest available available to buy was 700 but then look at this um yesterday yeah it's the 21st today so 20th so I picked one up for 650 sealed and it looks quite nice as well. There's deals to be had at the moment, guys, and this is kind of why I wanted to make this video, and this is why I'm going to hop around a little bit of Sword and Shield, a little bit of Modern, and some of the UPCs. Like the stable, like average price of everything is about what it should be, but you're starting to see more swings now. The market's starting to open up, it's starting to go interesting with supply and demand. The people who are dumping it. Are dumping it for these prices on buy it now and you're getting bargains and people are just scooping them up like that's quite a swing in price from 700 to 649 that's a 50 pound price swing in like one day i know that's best offer accepted but the cheapest right now is 700 so um yeah 50 pound on 700 that's what like eight percent seven percent maybe off the top of my head seven percent price swing on such a desirable product is pretty crazy and this is what i want you guys to start realizing the market is changing right now and it's a really exciting time to be a buyer it's definitely a buyer's market it's not a seller's market if you need to sell and you need to get rid of this quick you're going to have to settle for selling it for seven to ten percent below what things are going for and um People like me are just here and we're ready and we're going to scoop this up. If I'd have seen this yesterday um, for 650, I would have bought that. I think that's a really good deal. I sold a lo load myself for like 675 um, a few months ago, but then the price has started to creep up again. So 650, I'd probably buy back in. I know that's technically a bit of a loss because I paid fees and stuff like that. I should have just hung on to my original boxes, but that's besides the point <laughs> to me my, my brain my brain doesn't work that way i made like a 300 percent profit and then this would be a separate occurrence where I, where I would buy back in at 650 and then i would probably just hold until the price hit like um i don't know like 850 900 a grand something like that okay let's have a look at um at this then so part of the video that i watched uh, that i made last week sorry was talking about people getting priced out of the 
uh, booster boxes. So now each week we're going to start looking at the elite trainer boxes as well, because I'm telling you these are the next things that are going to pop, and they've already gone up again since I made the video last week. So here's a pretty good deal. So someone got a best offer accepted for 300 all in. Um, so that's below 300. I don't know what they paid. They probably paid about. 120 each maybe 130 each which is about what they were last week but look at this the uh the variant that i said was a little bit better selling for 160 now that was two days ago someone sold one for 160 that's the highest i've seen it ever sell for uh, evolving skies elite trainer box i'm telling you these are starting to creep and they're starting to take off already 160 for that elite trainer box is mad because like four weeks ago they were like 110 and they were like sitting at 110 as well and like only selling like one every couple of days now someone sold one for 160 that's mad and i think the price is just going to go up and up and up especially if the booster box starts creeping up in price and starts getting around the thousand dollar range the thousand pound range over the next year or so these elite trainer boxes are gonna explode i'm telling you Right, let's have a look. I, oh yeah, I just wanted to point this out as well. Look at this joker. Okay, Evolving Skies sealed Elite Trainer box case. I just found this funny. Two, two grand they want for this, for 10 Elite Trainer boxes. That would work out at 200 pound each for these. That's absolutely nuts. Like, but I don't think it will be that nuts looking back in like a year's time. In a year's time, that might actually look like quite a good deal. So I just thought that was funny. Someone trying, trying their luck on it. I would say really, if you're buying a whole case, it should be like 120 each. So this should be closer to like 1200 pound or something like that. But that's just my opinion. This guy's trying it on. Fair play to him. Let's have a little look at uh, the most recent set to come out then. I really wanted to have a little look into this because I find it funny that some of the other investment channels, and I'm never going to say any names, but I just find it funny that some of them will like clickbait with like um, thumbnails and on their videos and stuff like that, like stellar crowns crashing and stuff like that. I, I just think it's funny. You need to understand that when YouTubers do that, and I sometimes do it as well, but when YouTubers do that and put clickbait titles like that, it's just to get the views and to get the click through because they're making money from it. That's all it is. And interestingly, if you make videos that talk about the market crashing, you get more views and make more money. And that's why you see a lot of negative videos in the market. And if you have a look back through my channel, yeah, occasionally, okay, hands up, I do it sometimes when I actually do genuinely see dips in the market. But some, some of these creators are literally like every week, like, it's crashing, it's crashing, it's crashing, just because they make more money from it. I saw a huge YouTuber today actually make a video saying that uh, Celebration UPCs were crashing. And then I clicked on the video and I started watching it and he didn't even look at the price at all and then just used it as an excuse to open a UPC on video. Like I just thought that was quite funny. Um, so I wanted to check it out myself. So I started having a look at Stellar Crown. Rather than watch that video, I just wanted to uh, see what's going on with Stellar Crown because there was a, a bit of hype around the set and it is the most recent set out. Uh, it was going pre-release for around about 30% below retail. Seems like it's around about that price still. Let's have a look at last sales. So yeah, 108. I don't know what these are for 90 90 dollars 89 dollars that's so cheap even for ultra modern if you see something for 90 90 dollars even if it's like the worst set ever i would still just buy it for 90 dollars that's so cheap um just to have a few in the collection looks like it's slowly creeping back up to around about the 110 range maybe it was just two that were being dumped for that price i don't know um but it's still really cheap still well below retail uh, cheapest you can buy it in the UK right now. Bear in mind, this is quite a nice set. You can still get it on eBay for like about 30% below retail. £104 all in. That's so cheap for an ultra modern set. Um, and you can have a look at that one and everything. This guy is clearly just dumping it. There's no way he's making any money on it at £104. He must have paid more than that. Especially like, okay, maybe he paid 104 for it. And then he's just going to eat the fees. He's just going to eat a 15% loss on fees. I don't know. 
don't know what the deal is there. Oh, he's selling two as well. So he's selling one for 104 and one for 107. That's a bit weird. Um, fair play, though. Uh, yeah, let's have a look at retail then. So retail on it is 154. Um, you could get it for 104 on eBay. That's 50 pounds less. So yeah, around about just over a 30% reduction in price on the most recent set. Me personally, what am I buying right now? Um, I'm buying into Fusion Strike. I'm buying into small Evolving Skies products like Odd Blisters. Um, I might treat myself to a little uh, ETB here and there. And um, basically just saving my money and occasionally buying like small ultra modern boxes like this because for 30% below retail even if I just sit on this like I sit on most of my booster boxes for like four or five years apart from Evolving Skies that was a that was a whole separate ball game but yeah I sit on most of my boxes for like four or five years before I sell them and then I'll sell them for like three times what I bought them for um Stellar Crown like I'm pretty sure that if you bought this for 104 by the end of next year you could probably quite comfortably sell that for like 160 I would imagine so then after fees you're probably making around about 30 40 percent profit on that um, actually pretty decent on what's quite a decent set you do run the risk with ultra modern that's going to get printed into the ground but it is what it is for that price I don't think you can lose let's just have a look at Twilight Masquerade then and you need to understand the sentiment in the market. So this happens always with sets. It happened with Twilight Masquerade. It's happening with Stellar Crown now. You get hype before the set comes out. Set comes out. People just do whatever they can to devalue the set. They're just like, oh, it's rubbish. Because they build up in their head that it's going to be the next best thing. And it's going to be amazing. And then it comes out and it doesn't meet their expectations. Um, so then they devalue it and say it's a rubbish set. It was never a rubbish set. It's just you overestimated it in your head. Everyone's looking for the next big thing. They're looking for the next big evolving skies. And I'm telling you, nothing that I've seen coming out yet, coming out soon, is that next evolving skies. Believe me, when I see it coming, I'll let you know because I called evolving skies pre-release as well. I knew I knew what evolving skies was going to be. I even went to the pre-release event. It's the only release for Pokemon where I've ever actually queued up on release day to buy it because I knew how big it was going to be it had all the hype behind it we just knew it was going to be a banger and it was um, we don't have that at the moment Twilight Masquerade did better than expected um, let's have a look at that so it's slowly creeping up in price um, this is why you subscribe by the way because when I see that fire set coming I'm going to let you guys know and I'm going to tell you to buy 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 and it ain't come yet and that's why I'm not buying a huge amount of seal product at the moment because I'm saving and I'm building up capital I'm buying odd bits here and there but I'm not buying nearly as much as I used to just because I've not seen those sets yet that are really really bullish on and once that ultra modern set comes out and I'm convinced that before the end of Scarlet and Violet's over we're gonna see one of those sets we're gonna see a fire set come out before Scarlet and Violet is over it's either going to be the last set or the second to last set or the third to last set if they do a full rocket return set or something like that that could be it but you know like just <laughs> be patient there's nothing super fire out now i think stellar crown's good i think surgeon sparks will be all right we need to see the second half of what surgeon sparks is first um, before we can make a judgment call on that but i'm not super bullish on it seeing what i've seen so far um, Twilight Masquerade is creeping and like I said it did a little bit better than expected obviously people started chasing the Greninja let's have a look at sales data uh, 140 145 144 144 and you might think oh you know that's just retail or below retail and it's like yeah but you've got to remember that you could pick up Twilight Masquerade for 30% below retail like two and a half months ago and now if it's sat at retail, well, that's a 30% price gain. And that's what you need to understand. This is what's going to happen with Stellar Crown as well. It's 30% below retail right now, look, 104. But what's it going to be, you know, in two months' time, three months' time? Are we then going to hit retail? Yeah, retail doesn't sound great, but that's a 30% increase. It's the way you've got to look at the market. The market's changing with Ultra Modern, And um, you've got to adapt and roll with the times. It's all changing. Um, let's have a look at 
uh, what the cheapest is in the UK right now. So the cheapest in the UK, I don't like these where you don't have a proper photo of it, 115. You run the risk, you might, you know, this is clearly someone who's dumping loads of boxes. You might get one with a nice seal, you might not. For that kind of price point, I'd probably rather either buy from another retailer that I've bought from before, like a third party store, or I would buy the next best available that has individual photos like this one. 123 all in with nice photos of the seal. I do think, like I said, if you shop around, you can probably get this a little bit cheaper elsewhere from a third party store that's got a lot of it that's wanting to shift it, probably to buy into more Stunner Crown or, or to pre-order Surging Sparks uh, or whatever the next set is gonna be. Um, but it just seems quite cheap to me, um, even still. Twilight Masquerade. I said it was cheap when it was 90 a box. I still think it's cheap now where it's 120 a box. If you buy Twilight Masquerade now, it had quite a good release. It's got the good Chase Greninja card. Put that away for a couple of years. I think you do all right. Let's uh, let's move on then. Let's have a look at um, some of the other big hitters in Sword and Shield. I've been talking a lot about Fusion Strike just because it's available for retail still here in the UK. That's absolutely nuts. Easily the best deal going at the moment. Um, and you can see, look, we're seeing swing prices here, 209. On the graph, it looks like, oh, it's dropping in price. It's not dropped a huge amount. I mean, let's zoom out a little bit. So it was at its peak around here, around May, April time. It was at 243. In my eyes, there's no reason why it shouldn't still be 243. So you're getting it for a little bit of a discount now for around about the 209 range. The fact that it's already hit hit these levels makes me confident that it'll go up there again. Yeah, you might have to wait three months, you might have to wait six months, but it's gonna go back to these prices, I'm almost certain of it. Fusion Strike still hasn't popped off in the UK yet, but interestingly, the price between retail on the Pokemon Center and the price between cheapest eBay, the gap's getting bigger and bigger each week, which is just leads into what I've been telling everyone that as soon as it sells out for retail on Pokemon Center, this isn't gonna be the next cheapest price. So it's just gonna jump straight up in price to whatever the cheapest on eBay is. And that's why we're still looking at it. Don't buy this right now. Um, buy it from Pokemon Center for 142. But now the gap is, like I said, getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And it just means that as soon as it goes out of stock for retail, it's just gonna jump up that much quicker. And I'll tell you what, these will sell out quick as well. So you've got this guy that's selling two for 158. And then let's see what the next price is. Then it jumps to 170 straight away. So then it's another 12 quid price jump in just two sales. So really do think that as soon as it sells out on Pokemon Center, and that might be a week's time, it might be another two months time, might be another three months time. I don't know how much they've got left. No one knows, this is the point. But once it's gone, it's gone. And once it does go, I think it's very quickly gonna jump up to the 200 pound range. Okay, um, last sales. 160 so it is selling for 160 even now that's crazy to me um especially when you can buy it cheaper on pokemon center but yeah 160 sales confirmed and that is four days ago it's got one of my favorite cards of all of sword and shield as well i think this is one of the most underrated chase cards in all, all of sword and shield it's the big sleepy alt art espion v max He's sleeping on a building. I think it's one of the nicest art cards in basically modern Pokemon. I think it's up there with the Umbreon. I know the Umbreon has so much more hype around it, but this Espeon is fire. And I do wonder if they'd have done what they were originally gonna do and not split the Espeon out of Evolving Skies. If they'd have put this Espeon Alt art in Evolving Skies as well, what would the price be like on Evolving Skies? And what would the price on this card be like? Um, some food for thought there. Let's have a look at Lost Origin then. So Lost Origin has, again, look, we're seeing a bit of a swing, swing in price here. We're seeing a little bit of a consolidation. It went from around about the 211 range down to around about 200. That's what, a 5% swing in price? There's deals to be had out there. And if there's a 5% swing in price on the average, that means there's other people that are dumping below that. And if you're stalking on eBay at the time, at, 
Uh, if you're stalking on eBay, now is the time right now to pick up some bargains. That I see all the time, um, I go through like last solds and I just see people getting bargains left, right and centre all over the place right now. It might just be one odd box, someone puts it on as a quick buy it now and then someone like you or me, we're keeping an eye on it and we snap it up. It's all about knowing the market and identifying a good deal straight away. Um, cheapest you can buy in the UK right now is 180, 192 all in, in fact. Uh, be interesting to see what this one goes for that's on auction. It's already at 150 and it's got six days left. I would imagine it will go for around about the 180 range, um, as it seems to just be the norm right now. Lost Origin is one of those boxes, a bit like Astral Radiance, where I kind of put them on a bit of a par. Maybe Lost Origin a little bit better because it had the Chase Giratina card. But I put them similar popularity. I put them similar to Fusion Strike as well. It's just Lost Origin went out of stock in the UK and the other two are still available. And that's when you saw this price jump up to the 180. I think we're going to see the same with Astral Radiance and Fusion Strike once they go out of stock. And it's not a case of like week to week we need to be keeping an eye on what's going on with the stock. We're putting these away for years. Do you know what I mean? Like... If you're buying Fusion Strike now, buy it for 142, and then just don't care about it. Do what I do, put it in the back of a wardrobe somewhere, get it out every six months or so to check on it, just make sure there's nothing going wrong with it in your box, no mold or anything like that. Uh, just keep an eye on it, put some of those silica gel packs in there, and uh, usually it's pretty golden. Right, last sales then. 180 best offer accepted, um, and then one. 80 actually sold 205 a couple of days ago that's one of the highest i've seen a, a loose booster box of lost origin go for at the moment really starting to uh accelerate up in price but again we're seeing swing trades here this person best offer accepted on 180 but then what three days beforehand 205 that's quite a difference in price 25 here or there that's how much of a swing is 25 on 205 uh, let's just work it out 25 divided by 205 times 100 12 percent swing rate on lost origin right now it's uh something to pay attention to there's bargains all over the market right we're going to go quickly now because we've been uh, taking up quite a lot of time astral radiance again look we're seeing that little bit of a drop in price we're seeing a swing in astral radiance price some people dumping it but it's really like not dropping down that much on the averages um it's just a good time to buy all round astral radiance 136 cheapest it's also available for retail 142 on pokemon center here in the uk i'm not going to look at last sales because it's going to be the same let's have a look at the celebrations upc then because one of these big youtubers did some big video about how uh upc is crashing sell 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 it's really not guys i mean yes it's come down from the peak but show me a booster box that i've shown you today that hasn't had a little bit of a swing in price okay ages ago in october 2023 yeah they were 400 dollars, but i mean in may time they were 370 and now they're going for what like 330 they're still well over retail if you'd have bought this for retail you're still laughing um, if you want to buy into it, I don't recommend you buy into this UPC once it's already gone up in price quite a bit. Um, but yeah, I, do I think it will go up in value over time? Yes. Do I think it's on discount now from uh, what it has been? Yes. Do I think it's the best place for you to put your money though? Absolutely not. A, it's a big bulky product. Unless you're going to display it, I think it's probably not worth it there are much better smaller products like booster boxes even some of the etbs like the evolving skies etbs i'd much rather put my money into that than this but just thought i'd have a look at it since uh someone made a big video about how it's crashing and don't believe the thumbnails um cheapest you can buy in the uk right now 320 that's about what it's always been uh last sales here 300 best offer accepted that is actually quite a deal um so i'll give you that um so that's a swing in price look here's one selling for 370 in acrylic uh three for 960 
So that's 320 each. So 320 each, and then someone's best offer accepted on a 300. That's just showing a swing price of probably around about 10%, because they probably took, I would imagine, about 290 for that. Um, all in. I wanted to just very quickly have a look at Chilling Rain just to close off, because Chilling Rain is one of those sets where I don't look at it every week because it's not bought or sold as much as some of the later sets in Sword and Shield, but I do think it's a fire set. It has seen that appreciation in price, which I always knew it deserved. It's got some really nice cards, some really nice alt art cards, and I do think it's a bit of a sleeper set. I do think it's still undervalued, even at its current, current rate. The reason why I don't look at it every single week is because it doesn't vary too much week to week, but we do need to keep an eye on it uh, over the long term because I do think that it's going to do well. Again, look, we're seeing that discount in price. June sort of time, $230 roughly. Now it's around about 204 So you're getting that $30 discount. $30 on 200 is... 15% I want to say around about that 12 to 15% <laughs> that's some quick maths for you uh, cheapest you can buy in the UK right now is uh, 199 all in and uh, look this is what I'm saying about bargains and people dumping them. So cheapest right now to buy 199 all in 15 people watching it so people are interested last sold buy it now 175 that's so much of a swing in price that's basically 25 um 20 let's just work it out the percentage i'm sick of working these out 25 <laughs> divided by 174 uh times 100 14.3 percent swing rate on chilling rain there's bargains out there to be had and look they're selling for that as well look uh what's that four days beforehand uh, someone sold one for 195 so there's bargains to be had there's a bigger a bigger swing happening in the market now and I'm noticing it increasing and increasing week on week I'm always going to keep you up to date with this ever-changing market that's why you subscribe down below I hope you guys have a wonderful day peace